Good morning, because it is going to be a good morning. Welcome to it. This is your feel good kickstart to the weekend. Good, good morning, morning, Graham. Oh, listen, we are so excited because it is Friday, and you know what that means. Oh. We are getting ready to kickstart your weekend with a bang, and we've got some incredible things lined up for you today. It is a jam packed show mm. from entertainment and movies and mouth watering dishes that will have you drooling. That's all on the cards for today. Mm, it's about the inspo. So first up, we are thrilled to announce that the sensational artist uh, Emma Cole is going to be setting the stage on fire in Johannesburg a little bit later this morning. We'll get to know and get behind the success story and then of course get some amazing performances as well. Mm, and speaking of entertainment, later on we'll also be joined by the one only JP Sebastian who'll be giving us the lowdown on one of the most epic movies of sure. all time Civil War now get ready for some serious cinematic insights and I'm wondering how many popcorns will be dished out today Ooh, I don't know this one feels a little too close to the bone I think a bit of a trigger warning there certainly for JP Sebastian and then we're not just tantalizing the taste buds with um, thrilling performances of blockbuster movies we are of course taking it up a notch in the kitchen where we'll be whipping up some fully loaded hash browns, crispy potato salad that will have you coming back for more. Yep, the culinary inspiration continues as well. Oh, well, you know what pairs really, really well with food on mm -hmm. a Friday? It is the Espresso Friday dance. Yes. So get ready to shake off the stress from the week and groove along as we kickstart this weekend. So go grab that coffee if you haven't already. Settle in, just give a woosa. <sighs> I love it. Get ready for the ultimate Friday morning experience right here on Expresso. And of course, we did say it's the start of the weekend, so we maybe need a bit of a soundtrack to see us through. Let's get that connection right now. Connect with our favorites, Zanele up in Joburg. A very good morning, my sister. How are you doing? Good morning, my beautiful family. And oh, Graham, I like that. The ultimate Friday experience. That's exactly what it is when you tune into your feel-good breakfast show. Zanzi Sianamke, like to the biggest and best breakfast show in the land. And this is exactly where you deserve to be because as you heard, the menu, I always tell you it's delicious, but today it sounds extra special. And I know it's gonna take us into the right things, but you know we always like to also hear from you on social media. So let's get to our good morning post. Uh, hit us up on social media, hashtag Expresso Show, as well as with those voice notes on our WhatsApp line 063-408-8863. My lovely, very easy peasy, so nice for a Friday. We want to know what is the theme song to your weekend, huh? If you were to choose one song that honestly would describe what you're about to have, we want to hear it. I know for me, I'm going to have it a little bit of a flashback Friday way, which is Black Eyed Peas, I've got a feeling. Because I have a feeling that it's not just going to be a good night, it's going to be a good morning, and it's going to be a good weekend. So tell us what yours is, 063408 double eight six three hashtag expresso show you know before we get into everything else we always got to take care of business and that is why the beautiful zoe is standing by with the news thank you zanele well let's start off with your national headlines the chairperson of the board of the student aid fund naspas has resigned Ernest Causa took voluntarily leave in January following allegations that he and Higher Education Minister Blade Mzimande has received favours from service providers to Nasfas. Causa resigned from the post until an investigation into the allegations was completed. He and Mzimande deny the allegations. Yesterday, the Department of Higher Education announced Causa's resignation in a statement regarding the ongoing problems with non-payment payment of student grants. And we stay with our local news. Muslims across South Africa celebrated Eid al-Fitr yesterday, signifying the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The day was observed with early morning prayers, acts of charity such as feeding the needy and visiting family members, as well as graves of loved ones. In Cape Town, prayers and a sermon were held at the Gatesville Mosque in Athlone. The theme was celebration and commemoration in solidarity with the Palestinian people. The solidarity refers to the ongoing bombing and unfolding humanitarian crisis in Gaza. 
We move to news abroad. The UK has returned dozens of artefacts looted from present-day Ghana more than 150 years after they were taken. Some 32 gold and silver items have been sent on long-term loan to the country by the Albert and Victoria and Albert Museum and the British Museum. They were stolen from the court of the Ashante King during 19th century conflicts between the British and the Ashante people. The objects are expected to be returned to the current king today. And staying with news abroad, O.J. Simpson, the American football star and actor who was acquitted in the sensational 1995 trial of murdering his former wife and a friend, but was found responsible for her death in the civil lawsuit and later imprisoned for armed robbery and kidnapping, has died at the age of 76. Simpson, cleared by a Los Angeles jury in what the U.S. media called the trial of the century, succumbed to cancer on Wednesday. He was one of the best NFL players in the late 1960s and 70s, representing the Buffalo Bulls and the San Francisco 49ers. And a few days ago, we reported on the rescue of over 100 baby turtles. This morning, there's even more exciting news. 240 have been rescued in just three days. This number is re of rescues have been unprecedented and affords us all a wonderful opportunity to help support the survival of loggerhead and leatherback turtles. Every donation helps the Two Oceans Aquarium Foundation's Turtle Conservation Center in Cape Town to treat and feed these babies until they're ready for release. Each of these wee 240 hatchlings need intensive care and love because they're emaciated and injured. Statistics show that in the wild, only two of every 1,000 turtle hatchlings, hatchlings reach adulthood. The Turtle Conservation Center now needs our help to reverse these statistics. Well, that's where I leave those morning headlines. Let's take a first look at your sport with Graham. Oh, thank you so much. So let's hope some of that positive sentiment rubbed off on our Bulls fans this weekend because they've got an uphill battle ahead as the Bulls uh, take on this Saturday, of course, the Champions Cup quarterfinal against a very strong Northampton Saints outfit with up to 14 regular players now sidelined due to injuries and, of course, all the travel woes that we've been reporting on this week. So co-captain Juan Nokir and Marco von Staden are among those absent two talismans. The World Cup winners, Kirtley Aronsa and Kanan Moody, both withdrawn on Monday, then Vili Leroux, David Creel and Ambrose Papier also missing the trip. So the core of that team, the Bulls showdown with Northampton Saints kicks off uh, tomorrow at 9 p.m. in the evening. Let's hope they've got a little something special in the tank. Uh, now let's turn to football and a bit of a shock. Liverpool suffered a stunning 3-0 home defeat against Atalanta. That was in their Europa League quarterfinal first leg yesterday with Gianluca Scamacca netting twice for the Italian side. Atalanta seizing the lead after 38 minutes as Scamacca capitalised on some pretty lax defending, it must be said. Then he struck again in the 60th minute before Mario Palacic sealed the victory seven minutes from time. But a brilliant performance. That second leg going to be a tough uphill battle again for Liverpool, scheduled for the 18th of April. Now let's bring it back home and back in the water. And it's been a fantastic SA National Swimming Champs. And Peter Kutzer, he clinched his fourth gold at the National Swimming Championships in Kabaka, also securing two Olympic qualifying times in the 100-metre backstroke. So the 19-year-old surged in the morning heats, clocking 53.05 seconds, surpassing the 53.74 second mark for Olympic contention. Well done in the evening final. Then he blazed even faster, touching the wall in 52.89 seconds seconds to claim that national title. Now, someone who has still got it, clearly, you talk about magic in the tank, he's got a couple of litres left. Fernando Alonso, the season two-time Formula One champion, has just penned another lucrative deal, this time with Aston Martin, extending his career up until 2026. So the 42-year-old Spaniard, whose contract was set to expire this season, boasts consistent top 10 finishes, currently holding eighth place in the standings. Brilliant year with 106 podiums, 32 wins under his belt in his career. Alonso's last try dates back to 2013 to the Spanish Grand Prix. I have a feeling he's got something there this season, so we'll watch that space. But that's where we leave our sporting news, at least for now. Touch on those headlines again at 7. Let's get the latest on the weather front.
Thank you, Graham. Well, the SA Weather Service has issued a yellow level two warning for damaging waves leading to disruption of beachfront and port activities expected along the KwaZulu Natal coast. Meanwhile, following heavy rains and hail in Kroenstadt, the Gift of the Givers team met with Executive Mayor Toy Mokwatsane, MEC Toto Makume, members of the SAP Search and Rescue, disaster management, as well as other key stakeholders to establish the extent of damage caused by the downpours. It's reported that approximately 170 households, comprising some 290 people, were affected. Gift of the Givers teams remain on site to provide disaster relief and continue assessment. That's your weather update for now. Remember, if you have a sunrise view to share with us, you can do so on our WhatsApp line. That number is 063-408-8863. Let's take a look at your temperatures for your Friday. Yep, performances on the way, but first, your opportunity to win and win big. You could be rolling in the millions when you play Powerball and Powerball Plus for an estimated 12 million rand in total estimated jackpots this Friday. We can all dream, but you can now actually play. How incredible would that be? Now, you can play the Powerball for an estimated 8 million rand and Powerball Plus for an estimated 4 million rand. Yep. But if you want to win, you need to play. Okay, so we do this every day and we'll do it again right now. We want you to get on board. You can go and get your tickets in store. You can go to national.lottery.co.za. You can go to your mobile app. Um, you can also buy tickets through your cell phone banking app or you can just go old school dial star 120 star 7529 hash for all the USSD. And don't worry if all those numbers are confusing. We've got all of those <laughs> details on our Expresso social media pages. So you can always go and check them out and make sure you get yourself in the running by playing Powerball and Powerball Plus for 12 million oh. rand in total estimate made a jackpots today panda pusher play oh, all the best of luck that you can ponder your numbers right now um as we maybe try and distract you just a little bit imak sol is going to be performing for us a few times this morning we are in for an incredible kickstart to the weekend we'll also get to behind this incredible success story that's unfolding at the moment as well at least Zanella can't wait to connect there. definitely and we're going to bring you your first recipe for today how nice. does fully loaded hash brown sound Ooh. sounds delicious and it's ready Ooh, for wow, us to tuck into that. oh so we'll be right back Yay. Oh, you can make 